Welcome to Concepts of Programming Languages. My name is Dr. Caleb, and today I'd like to talk to you about Java and whether or not it actually passes by reference. This is something I've seen in some YouTube videos, some web pages, even some introductory textbooks on programming in Java. But if I look at things like the Java documentation, other textbooks, it says that Java only passes by value. So let's think about this Java parameter passing confusion. It's really clear that primitive variables are passed by value. When we change them in the calling function, that does not affect the caller. But objects can be a little bit confusing because changes to the contents of an object do affect the situation in the caller in at least some situations. So I have here a simple bank account class of just a balance with the constructor, uh, both kinds of constructor, a getter, a deposit method, the simplest version of a withdraw method. So very basic, very standard bank account class. Then I have a little program for us to look at what actually happens when we pass parameters in Java. So I've set up a primitive, just an integer, and a bank account and then printed out those values, just the balance of the bank account, because that's all we care about. Then um, call a function, and then see what the status is of those variables after we get back from the function. So now the function is gonna print the values as soon as, as it got them, then make changes to them, print them out, and then of course we'll go back and see what happened after we get back to main. So let's actually come up and run this. I've been giving ourselves a little bit of room here. So before pass by value, we get num is 10, which is where it started, so that's good. And the bank account balance is 1000, just like we would expect. Then inside pass by value, we get the same thing. They shouldn't have changed and they didn't. And after we make the changes in pass by value, we have 11 and 1500 because we added one to num one, deposited 500 into the bank account. And then when we get back to main after the call is over, num is back to 10, which we would expect if we did pass by value. And account balance is 1500. So if Java is purely passed by value, as the documentation and certain textbooks would indicate, what is going on here? The answer is that object variables are not objects, they are references. So in main, suppose I have some primitives and then call a function and I pass by value since. I'm talking about Java here. All of the primitives are copied. So each parameter gets a copy of the value. And then if inside that function, I change those values, nothing happens to the originals because I changed copies. This is what pass by value is all about. But remember that when I say new, what happens is I actually create the object in the heap in a different part of memory. And what is stored back in my function in its function activation record is the address of that object, a reference to the object. When I call the function, if I pass it the object, I'm actually passing the reference that's stored in that variable. So in Funk's function activation record, I get a copy of the address. So both of those references are pointing at that same object over in the heap. So when I make changes to that object using the account two variable in the function, the account one reference variable in main is also pointing to that same object that was changed. So when we get back to main after the function is over, we're gonna see those changes. What if instead of depositing more money, we actually create a new account. Notice that that doesn't affect account one because we did pass that reference by value. 
we made a copy of it, when we change the value of the reference, the old reference is still there, the old object is still there, nothing has changed because we passed the reference by value. We change what the reference is pointing at, it's going to change for everything pointing at that particular object. But if we change where the reference points, that doesn't change back in main. Let's actually see what this looks like in code. So I've set up um, a slightly more complex program here for us to look at. We're still using the same bank account. The pass by value function is mostly the same. It just prints a little bit more. So let's start stepping through this. I'm actually set a breakpoint and we're going to debug and step through it. And we can watch in our panel what's going on. So we set up nom and account and print those out. And that's just the same as it was before. But now I want to go into the pass by value so we can walk through that step by step. And we've printed num. Now this is going to print the actual account um, in a two string. And the two string by default gives us the name of the value of the class and the address of the object. So that might be interesting to us. And we see you know, what we have locally here is an account one. But if we look back in main, um, this account here is the same information. So VS Code is tagging that object and saying, hey, this is the same object, which I'm is the bank account that was set up at 15. So now. Um, Let's keep going here. We change num1. We do the deposit. That's still happening to the same thing. So if we look right now, we see that bank account 15 has 1500 both places. And it's still the same address as before. And the balance, of course. Has changed. And when we get back, we're going to see that we print the num. This account is also the same. This has been the same account all the way through. So let's see now what happens when we change the reference and see that we actually do have some pass by value going on here. So before we call change the reference, we print the account, we print the balance, those as we would expect are the same. Let's go into my change the reference. And we're going to print that we're in it. We're going to print the account, same address still, um, and the balance. And now we're going to set up a new balance, new bank account, totally new everything. So this is no longer the same account. Notice we changed the tag here. But if we go back to main, it's still looking at the old one. And if we change, um, if we print, we're going to see a different address here because we're in a different place, different object. And of course, different balance. But back in main, this account that was in main is still exactly the same as it always was, at least ever since we finished the value passing. What if we replace the account with null? So we're setting it to null. We printed out, it printed null, the zero address. Then I'm going to go into this change the reference. Print account, not print the balance because it's null. We don't really want to deal with that crash. Then we create a new one. Now notice this is yet another 
different object at yet another different address. But when we get back up here, the account we're dealing with here is still null. And so we won't print it so on. Bottom line is that passing a reference by value, which is what Java is doing, is not the same as passing by reference. Java actually passes everything by value, but what it passes in the case of objects is a reference. And so we can find ourselves a little bit confused. But the behavior we're getting is exactly the same as when we do an assignment, where we copy the reference from one variable to another, and either one of them can change the same object. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you next time.